it's me, Mr. P from Papa Podcasts. And in these viewers challenge, I challenge you, the viewer, to predict the end results for the following video. So in the comments below, what I want you to do is I want you to watch the video and using the knowledge that you've learned in your chemistry class, I want you to predict the type of reaction that is taking place. I'd like you to write a balanced chemical equation and explain what evidence you predict will happen that will prove that a chemical reaction has taken place. Good luck with the challenge. In this station, we're going to have two beakers, one of sodium hydroxide, another one of sulfuric acid. Uh, again, be careful, make sure you've got your safety goggles, be careful because both are very corrosive. We have diluted them. Um, so they're, they're not really in any great, great danger, but again, they can be irritating if you were to spill it. So again, just be careful when you're um, uh, you using these beakers. We've got one more beaker here. Again, it may come in beaker form. It might come as a little vial um, of phenolphthalein. And then for those who understand what phenolphthalein is, phenolphthalein is an indicator. It indicates if something is an acid or a base, right? So in, in this demonstration, what we're going to be doing is, just like with the other uh, stations, we're going to do three um, eyedroppers full here of each uh, chemical. So we've got sodium hydroxide. So in this one, I'm going to put... Right, so I've got sodium hydroxide in one. Let me put one more. So three... Uh, eyedroppers full of uh, sodium hydroxide. What we're going to do is we're going to do three um, eyedroppers full of sulfuric acid. Right? And we already know which one is an acid or a base. But the one thing what we want to do is we want to identify in this one what does an indicator or how does an indicator like phenolphthalein indicate acids and bases. So I'm actually going to show you this demo. So what we have here is we've got the, um, the sodium hydroxide and we've got the sulfuric acid. Right? So this was the first beaker that I filled up. This is, has the base. This has the acid. What we're going to do is we're going to take a drop or two, and that's all you need, a drop or two of phenolphthalein, like just tiny little drops, into the, each acid or a base. So we're going to drop one at two drops. Okay. We're going to shake it up and make your observation. So in an acid, that's what phenolphthalein will indicate. When we put it into a base, into a yet another clear and colorless uh, liquid, watch this one carefully. One, and that's all we really need, because that's really the color that we want. We just stir that up, right? Notice that fuchsia, magenta, whatever color you want to, pink, my students like to call it. Uh, so notice there how phenolphthalein indicates in acids or in bases. In a base, as we have here with the sodium hydroxide, there's the, uh, the color. But now, what, what, one of the things that I really love about the end of this experiment, I always tell students is pick one or the other and pour one into the other. And I tell them, pick, you know, choose the base, pour it into the acid or the acid into the base. Doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to pour the base into the acid and watch this observation. Take a look at what is going to happen. We stir it up and notice we remove the color. So tell me, what kind of a reaction has just occurred when I poured both of them out? So write out a balanced chemical equation and tell me, has a reaction taken place? And if so, what is the evidence?